Welcome back. Time for the word on Wall Street. Top investors watching your money this morning. Here with me now, Lexard Capital Management founder and CEO Al Lord. And of course, Mark Tepper has been here all morning. Um, Al, I want to go ahead and start with you and get your thousand foot view. Um, we are waiting on December's ADP National Employment Report. 8.15 Eastern time. That's when it's out this morning. Economists are looking for 150,000 private sector jobs added for mm -hmm. December. We're also taking a look ahead to the December jobs report out tomorrow. Economists expecting um, we're going to add 200,000 new non-farm jobs. Um, you know, your view of the markets right now with respect to the Fed, the labor market, all of these things that Jerome Powell is watching and all of these data points he'll take into consideration um, with respect to his next moves. Well, I think it's all about the Fed and continues to be all about the Fed and how serious are they going to be about their fight uh, against inflation. And if you look back a year ago, the Fed's dot plot had, had interest, interest rates at, at 0 0.75. Uh, and obviously we're at four and a quarter and, and we're going much higher. We now have 16 out of 17 Fed officials that are voting for a, a, a median rate above 5%. Mm -hmm. The last meeting, there was zero. So all of a sudden, their, you know, rates are, are much higher again. And so they've, they've continually gotten it wrong, uh, as has most of Wall Street. I mean, if you look back at other predictions, most everybody didn't see this coming. But now we got to fight inflation. And it's going to take some time, and it's going to be painful. Yeah. And if you, if you read the minutes that came out yesterday, the Fed's going to have to keep rates higher for longer. And that's the thing. Higher for longer. Market was expecting maybe in 2023, Jerome Powell would stop and even pull back. Now yeah. we may get a few more hikes and, and he just may stop. And that would be good news, Mark. That would be great news. Yeah, if he pauses at some point. But, you know, I, I think, you know, to Al's point, I, I think what's going to happen is the Fed is going to hike higher than the market is expecting. And that, you know, the market's going to be in for a rude awakening as it begins to digest the fact that rates are going to go higher. Market definitely seems to be behind lately. Yeah. Usually the market, you know, has an advanced read, I feel like, and people will look to Wall Street to see how it's interpreting certain data or what's happening in Washington. But this time, the market is behind. Yeah. And, and you know, the, the Fed has never stopped hiking rates with the Fed funds rate below the CPI rate. So we're going to, the CPI rate is going to continue to come down as they hike rates. So I don't know where that crossover point is going to be. I think Neil Kashkari just yesterday said 5.4 percent on the mm -hmm. Fed funds rate. I don't know where it's going to be. I think 5.25 percent at a minimum is where we end up, probably higher than that. OK. Um, again, ahead of this big jobs report, one of the things that I've been saying, Al, is that um, and, and Jerome Powell broadcast this. Um, I'm not, you know, making it up, but um, that people aren't going to lose their jobs this year. And we've seen a lot of job loss in tech um, and it could fan out to other sectors as well. As a matter of fact, the news this morning with Amazon laying off 18,000 people rather than the 10,000 that was previously forecast. That's about 5 percent of the workforce. Um, the CEO, Andy Jassy, sending out a letter to all employees writing, quote, Amazon Amazon has weathered uncertain and difficult economies in the past, and we will continue to do so. These changes will help us pursue our long-term opportunities with a stronger cost structure. Um, the stock was trading higher in the pre-market. Obviously, um, when you cost cut, that's positive for a company. But having said that, th this sort of it gives you a little bit of a negative view of, of how things are going to go this year. Right. Well, the Fed's own minutes show unemployment at 4.6 percent at the end of the year and, and into 2024 and, and possibly 2025. So there, these interest rate hikes are going to have an impact. It's certainly going to drive unemployment higher. People are going to lose their jobs. And, and yet, we, we, as we were just talking about earlier, there, there are a lot of open jobs. It's hard to find people. It's hard to find qualified people. Right. And so the economy needs this. We need to get people, we need to get people back to work so that they can be unemployed so that the rates can come back down. I mean, it's crazy how, yeah. how what, what's happened here. But I, I agree with, with Mark that I think the rates are going to be higher than what the market expects. We now have the, if you look at the forward curve, we have rates, uh, the, Fed, the market expects the Fed to, to lower rates in the fourth quarter of this year, and yet zero, <laughs> none of the, of the Fed officials uh, see rates coming down at all in 2023. Right, because you think about trying to get inflation from, you know, still a very elevated 7.1% to 2%, and um, that is 
a long way still to go. It, it is, especially when wage inflation is a sticky component of, of inflation. Exactly. So the Fed has to break the labor market to get inflation under control, and they are in the process of doing that. Now, with regards to Amazon and, and, and the jobs they're cutting, let's remember that Amazon actually works with a bunch of delivery partners. So these are mom-and-pop entrepreneurs who go out and they buy four or five delivery vans, and they are not technically employed of Amazon. So when Amazon's cutting jobs, imagine how that's going to trickle through to all of these small business owners as well. And, and one of the biggest questions is, given all of the, the layoffs we've heard from tech companies, from the banks, and now we're getting into consumer companies as well, why hasn't the unemployment rate budged? Why hasn't it? So I've been, to, so I'm a member of Entrepreneurs Organization and Young Presidents Organization, and I can tell you in my conversations with business owners, what they are telling me is it, it is a condition of labor hoarding. So small business owners at the beginning of the pandemic were boxed out from hiring. Mm -hmm. It was all the big companies that were hiring all of the talent. So the small business owners were Amazon boxed out. One of them. Yeah, so yeah. they were kind of behind the curve. They finally got the talent they had been looking for for a while. So they are going to hold on to it a little too long. And as the backlogs begin to dry up in Q2 of this year, they're going to face a rude awakening and they're going to have to begin to rip that Band-Aid off. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to have to leave it there. Al, Mark, thank you so much. You'll stay with us. Great to see you this morning, Al, and Happy Great. New Year.